Look at the choices. What do we have? Verbs. And look, plural, plural, singular, plural. I wonder what the answer is going to be. Probably C because it's the three versus one thing and one is different. So uh, we got to check it, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be singular. Let's look at the sentence and see. And here's where we are allowed a shortcut because if it is singular, plural, subject, verb agreement, then the sentence has to have both the things, the subject and the verb. All the other sentences are not going to give me a subject for this sentence. It's got to stand alone. So the Arrhenius equation named for its creator remains an important concept in modern chemistry. Yeah, the equation, that's singular, so we need the singular remains. That's it. These are easy questions if you just know how to apply the rule. There is no difficulty here. I, I, I get that this is not a particularly hard example of this rule, but it's still one where we want to apply that, that general strategy for uh, the writing section or the grammar section of look at the choices first, decide what rules apply, and then think about the sentence, the paragraph, in terms of those rules. And the singular plural thing is one of the hardest rules on the SAT because people don't think to check for it first. You got to go to the choices first. If you go to the paragraph, you are setting yourself up for a trap. So you got to be really, really careful with this rule. This isn't a hard version of it, but there are hard versions and people get it wrong all the time.